to uh, wait for some people to join. Nobody joins, it's fine. Give out the story here, this big, nice mainframe eight point. So we'll kind of hold off for a few minutes. We have one viewer. What's going on? <clears throat> wait for a few more to get on on uh, on here I'm gonna do some checking on some stuff here real quick before I start and this video will be up on Facebook for everybody to see so got a couple of people here now so we're gonna go ahead and start this I want to welcome you all to the page we appreciate it we appreciate you guys coming checking us out <clears throat> just sitting here today up in the office nice windy day uh, it will be coming back soon hopefully deer season will be here can't wait um, so Let's go ahead and start the story, and then uh, I'll go from there. We will uh, update you on what's going on, because I'm just sitting here waiting on Pro Staffer Joe Thompson to show up so we can start working on his crossbow, get it put together for him. So, Okay, so back in 2020, deer season came. It started, and... It was a rocky start to the season, if I remember right. So I uh, full cameras, watching deer, blah, 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 watching for the rut. So I pull the first camera on October 29th, 2020. Or actually, I pulled them October 30th. So what goes on is I pull them and I'm waiting for the rut action, of course, just like everybody else is. And I start, I see rut action on some other cameras. And when I see the rut action, I'm oh, good, 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 good. I'm glad to see this starting to, things are starting to go, they're chasing does, blah, blah, blah. So I pull my front gate camera and about third or fourth picture in because I had checked them prior a couple days prior but about third or fourth picture in I get this picture of this doe coming through ah, another one's being chased and everything I had seen was all small bucks so then the next one I get through is a nice very nice eight point. As you can see, he's following right behind her. Wow, what a deer! So I see that picture, and here's the next picture of him. And my wife's sitting right behind my shoulder. And I told her, I said, "You know what? If that deer gives me a chance. That thing is a pig. He is a stud." I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna fling an arrow at him. I'm gonna see if I can't stick him and, and uh, we'll hang him on the wall because man, that's a, that's a nice mainframe eight. So <clears throat> I hunt the next day. I see nothing. I hunted that stand, matter of fact. Then the next day I go out to Southern Illinois with pro staffer Joe Thompson and we go south. We set deer stands up for me and my dad uh, we see some nice small bucks. Great, good deal. Rutting activity starting, you know, and it, it was hitting in that southern Illinois. They were chasing and cruising. <clears throat> never, never got a shooter in. He got to draw his bow that morning. Oh well. Um, so the next day, 
the get up. I hunt. Nothing. Week goes by. And let's see, it'd be November the 7th or 8th. I think it was November the 8th. Um, it's a real windy morning. And man, I'm like, God, I got, I'm, I'm going to come down. I can't, I'm not seeing anything. Nothing had come through. So I come down. I go out, go to the back to the truck, talk to the landowner. And as I talk to the landowner, you know, things are happening. And I'm like, it's time for me to get out of here. I'm going to go home. I got to go to work. Tomorrow morning, it's time to get ready for work. I'm going to skip this evening. So, jump in the truck. I make my left like always. And as I make my left, I notice a car and a truck. They're sitting on the edge of the hill. I'm like, what's going on here? And, eh, didn't think nothing about it. I go down to my road, make my next left, and I see some horns sticking up out of the ditch line. I'm like, what in the world? I roll by real slowly. I thought maybe one was laying and had a doe laying. And I thought maybe he was had his head laying down. I see some spots of blood. I realize that it's one of my target deer. So I drive on down the road. I call my dad, and uh, he he knows a lot of CPOs. So I, I asked him. I said, "What do I need to do to claim this deer?" He explains to me and call the local sheriff. I got to get a salvage tag. So <clears throat> I got like a five mile stretch to make the circle. I make the circle and I come back so that I can get him. Well, when I seen the vehicle, I, or when I seen that van again in the truck, I noticed they were looking at the side. I thought maybe they were having car trouble. So I thought, well, I'll stop, get out of the truck. And I asked what's going on. And the gentleman tells me, my wife says she's hit something. She don't know what it is. Well, under a little bit of investigation, I realize there's deer hair on the edge of her bumper. It's caught up in the deer hair. And I looked at the gentleman and I said, I know what she hit. She hit a nice big buck. And uh, he said, really? How, how do you know? I said, well, you got deer hair down there, of course. And uh, with that deer hair, I said, I, I know where the deer's at. It's just up the road. Oh, we'd like to see it. So I take them down there, I show it. <clears throat> and this is the picture I snapped that morning as I stood over this deer in amazement. What a wonderful deer. So as it goes on, they've called the law. Um, the cops are going to come out, <clears throat> tell the cops, hey, I, I, I want that deer. It's my target deer. Well, of course, they give the driver the first option. They decided they didn't want it. The sheriff tells me, you must take the whole deer. You can't just take the head. I understand that it's a deer you've been watching because I explained to him I just hunt right there. <clears throat> he says, okay. Well, so this deer... I estimate field dressed at probably 250 pounds. I've killed a lot of deer in my life and I've drug a lot of deer up in my truck. They said, well, it's your, it's your deer, do what you want. So I back up to him and I grab a hold of his horns and I go to pull him up. I can't even pull him up, he's so heavy. Um, call pro staffer Joe Thompson. Hey, man, I know you're looking for me. Would you? would you be interested in a roadkill? And he was a little hesitant. And I said, it was just killed just probably an hour ago. This deer was in full rut. Uh, the way he was headed was towards my stand. If I would have stayed up there, I might've seen her hitting. And there again, I might not have. And uh, I, figured the direction he was coming, he was headed over towards me into the stand where I was at. So it just goes to show you, even though that wind's blowing, these deer are gonna run when it's the rut. I mean, stay stay up in your stand. Um, back to what I was saying, I called Pro Staffer Joe Thompson, do you want it? I said, it'd be a lot of meat. He, finally, he tells me yes, that he, he would like to have the deer. So I tell him, meet me at the house, we'll skin and quarter it. All I want is the head. 
and uh, this is the picture I took standing above my tailgate of him. He was one massive white tail. He stretched from one end to the other. So I decided <clears throat> I was going to do a European mount and do a tribute to this deer, kind of the way that I did find him. Um, it didn't quite turn out the way I wanted. It didn't come out, but I was very, I'm still very pleased with the way I did end up mounting him. And uh, this is him now, just as, just kind of like as I found him. I mean, what an awesome deer and what an awesome story. And uh, I'll, I'll cherish it. I mean, even though I didn't get to harvest the deer, I did get, I was able to get it, but, and it was very disheartening. So, uh, very pleased that it did turn out the way it did, but I wish I could have taken him with my bow. Like I said, he's a great deer. I never, I didn't put a measuring tape on him. I probably never will. Um, but that's the story, and I'm sorry it's taken so long. I've just, prolonged it prolonged it other things going on work family life i'm trying to hunt get dream 10 get him on the ground unfortunately still haven't done that but hey you know still hopeful he's still alive still kicking uh, i'm gonna go out next friday do some mushroom hunting out there hopefully maybe go out and do some shed hunting um, and hopefully be able to find his sheds yeah, which would be great um, so far that's what's going on um, I, like I said, I pulled trail cameras earlier and uh, pulled them all in. And like I said, Dream 10 still running. Sneaky ain't running anymore, unfortunately. Kind of sucks. Um, but it is what it is. Um, a lot of exciting things coming up. Um, we're going to try to get back on Gen 7 Outdoors. Uh, hopefully get a lot of video footage and stuff. Um, we're going to be not so selective this year. We'll still hunt for Dream 10, but uh, we're all in all, we're hopeful for him. And uh, hopefully we can put him on the ground this year. But um, like I said before, trying to still trying to pattern him, uh, I'll go out again and, and uh, start searching and do some searching for it. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, checking out this awesome story. This will be on the page, of course, and I'm going to try to upload this, and it will also be on YouTube, hopefully, if I can get this pulled, and then everybody can see this wonderful story of this deer and hear about it. Um, thanks again for watching, and we appreciate it, and uh, you guys have a good rest of your afternoon.